everybody! Welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are back playing Space Agency after like literally a year, year and a half. I don't remember exactly what. I think the last video went up in like February of uh, 2018. So I mean, I, depending on when exactly the date is, that's like a year and a half. <laughs> so. We're coming back. We've got a few new missions since the last time we were together playing Space Agency. We've got a first and second stage uh, landing and reuse. So basically they've introduced a reusable rocket to the game. Actually, I believe they've introduced two of them, but for the campaign, I think we only use one. They've introduced a nuclear module. We're going to upgrade the ADS module again. Uh, we're going to launch a sports car for whatever random reason. And then we are going to test out some ion drives, so that's going to be exciting. Uh, let's get going with the first mission here. We have, you know, the first stage landing. So our objectives are for mission 31 to launch and then land the LP-1. Place the resupply module dockable into orbit. Our budget is $20 million, and the maximum allowable time is 7 minutes. A private company has developed a new reusable first stage, the LP-1. Your mission is to test this new rocket. Use the LP-1 to launch a resupply module dockable into orbit around home. A new site with a landing pad has been constructed. Once you have separated the LP-1, use the landing radar to navigate to the landing site and then gently touch down on the landing pad. Once you have successfully landed the LP-1, continue with the mission by placing the resupply module into orbit. So note, the landing module uh, LP-1 can be found in the medium stage rockets menu. So for gold award, we must build the rocket costing $11 million or less, and we must complete the mission in 2 minutes 30 seconds. So let's get going. Go to build rockets, go to medium stage rockets, and then where is it? It's, there it is, LP-1. Now look at this thing, it's a massive medium stage rocket. Uh, not payload, small stages. Oh, oh, hold on, we need to go back to medium stages here. We need a connector, we need this thing to connect the medium stage to the small stage. Let's grab our resupply module dockable. And then just a regular arrow fairing, because we don't need anything special. And that brings the cost of our rocket to $10,755,000. All right, let's launch this beast. Now, this launch is going to be a little bit five, different, four, because normally start. I want to try and One. like conserve Lift my fuel up. and get my first stage as high into the air as possible. But uh, with these, it's actually a lot easier if they're like closer to the ground you know so we don't want to pulse the engines we don't want to literally try and launch this thing into space although maybe maybe at some Commence point I will program. try to see if I can actually get one of these LP Approaching modules into space on. and see what happens <laughs> but uh, not today today we're gonna do the mission so when we run out of fuel we hit the separate up. fairing button and then we want to start boosting immediately. Now we want to get ourselves so the landing radar is at like you know 30 or something. We'll we'll turn keep turning here. We want to be heading back down and then we want to like turn over the other way here. There we are. We're like 10 meters away so we want to start slowing our uh, right word momentum not not too much because we actually have to make it to the landing site here so we'll keep going a little bit but once we get to like two two units away we want to really make sure we're not going too far over because I mean if you don't land like literally centered on this stupid little landing pad you're gonna crash and it's not going to be good Alright, so two units, 
by the way, when the screen moves out like this, you want to be, like, flying, you want to be, like, gunning your engine as hard as possible, because if not, you are going to smash into the ground and die. No joke. Or sort of a joke, because, you know, this rocket's probably, like, remote controlled. I doubt you'll die, but, you know, the agency will be very, very angry with you. And uh, we have successfully landed the rocket and it's been credited back. So what this means right here, when we launched this for the first time, it costs like, I believe $8 million. Don't quote me. We can go back and check that. Uh, so the first time you use it, it costs $8 million to use, right? And then I think every subsequent time we use it after that, it only costs either one million or two million. And we'll see this in the next mission. So basically, if you keep using it over and over, it allows you to very cheaply launch multiple pieces into space. So that's good. Uh, now, when we press the go button here, it's going to give us control of the resupply module again. So let's get going with that. We're going to immediately launch, uh, drop the fairing. And then I'm just going to kind of like bounce my way up into the, well, into space. Not the space, but you know, in, into space here. And we don't really have uh, too much that we're doing beyond getting to space. So, I mean, I think we're pretty good here. Mission complete. Um, but if we've got a whole mission we're completing after we launch this thing into space, because, you know, we, we weren't conserving any momentum or, or any fuel on the way up, we're going to be drastically lower in fuel for the remainder of the mission. So you want to be careful about that. But... For this one, we got it into space, and with that, we are awarded the gold medal for this mission. We have completed the mission in 2 minutes 25 seconds, which is just, you know, 5 seconds off the allotted time. That's pretty good, I guess. Could have been better, but, you know, whatever, we did it. And we have a cost, a total cost of uh, 10755000 so we came in under there. And uh, that's that's basically it for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Space Agency. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everyone, and we will come back at some point and do the remainder of these missions.